All right. Okay. All right. This is mildly interesting, huh? Oh, sources. That's weird for Matt. Huh. Huh. Oh, hey, everybody. Sorry, I was just reading Matt Santoro's new book, Mind Equals Blown. Crazy stuff. It's actually really interesting, especially when you're taking a shit. But uh, you should definitely check it out. If you're interested in getting Matt Santoro's new book, I linked it in the description below. It's on Amazon. It's also in just about every bookstore on Earth. So uh, that's awesome. That's really cool. And I think we should really support our friends when they do really cool shit that you wish you had done. But they did it first because they're assholes, right, Matt? Right, Matt? Welcome back to Why Would You Put That on the Internet, the web series where you find ridiculousness on the internet. You send it over to me, and I put it into a video and try not to jump off a frickin' cliff. We've got a few dazzlers for you today. Oh my god, you're gonna be happy, I think. I really think I went through some of these submissions and... Holy shit. So let's jump right into this one. When you're building a house, it's kind of like building a relationship. You don't insulate the wrong thing. Insulate me as much as you like. Insulate my girlfriend and you gone too far. Bruh. Bruh. What, how do I even begin? Listen, I get it. You want me to insulate you. You're not cold anymore. We got that shit on lock but your girlfriend's freezing her tits off and you don't seem to care about that. What kind of a boyfriend are you exactly? Or I can insulate you, but I can't get some fiberglass insulation and put it in her. I mean, she's gonna be fucking just sitting there like this and you're not gonna offer your jacket because you're an asshole. I'm insulating your girlfriend, I don't give a fuck. Here comes, that's a boat sound, but let's just go with it anyway. You've been hit by the beautiful truck. Once you've been hit, you have to send to eight beautiful people. If you, but not the ugly ones. Don't send to the ugly ones. Don't, don't send to any ugly ones. Don't send to them, they don't deserve it. They're ugly, ugly, born ugly, made ugly. They chose to be ugly. If you get hit again, you'll know you're really beautiful. But if you don't get hit again, you're ugly. Ugly, you chose to be this way. This is your fault. You deserve hell. You deserve hell and to burn, you ugly. Break the chain and you'll have bad luck for eight years. So hit whoever you think is beautiful. Trucks, listen, I know from experience, I was dating this really ugly chick once. <sighs> and she's just like, listen, Rob, can you maybe fund my plastic surgery? And I'm like, bitch, no way. I ain't gonna, I no, 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 no. I don't have the money for that shit. I don't, I didn't say it like that. Um, but I did say something along those lines. And she was just like, well, what about like getting hit by the beautiful truck? And so I put her in the road and it, um, at the end of it, she wasn't exactly beautiful anymore uh, because I don't even sure that was a beautiful truck. I'm pretty sure it was a UPS truck. Um, it was the, the, it was brown and it had the thing on it, the UPS thing. Uh, so moral of the story, don't, Put your really hypersensitive girlfriend in the road to get hit by a UPS truck. Beautiful truck, I don't think it exists. I don't think it exists. I think it's a conspiracy. It's governments. Governments. <laughs> this one's gr For all you sickos that like popping pimples, here you go. Pimple popping cupcakes. That is ap- Oh my God. Oh my God. Why? Like, just look at him. Look at him again. Look at him again. Oh, look at how he's pushing. And it's not white, you know, it's like kind of yellow. Oh, is anybody else really turned on right now? Wow. Oh. If you're looking for a date, don't do this. Hey, hot very, where are you from? I will go to your home or hotel. So if you're, you know, he's just assuming he's he's covering his bases right out of the gate here. Either you're at home or you're in a hotel, but he's not gonna do you if you're in a car because that isn't classy. They sent a couple days later, hey, do you want to with me bed sex? Okay, listen, listen. Maybe that shit works in your language. Um, Great. It doesn't work when you're sending it to people of my language, which they did. I know who received this. I know the person that received this message. She gets a lot of these. 
Um, so I just really wanted to hammer that in. Um, if you want to date, great. Do you want to with me bed sex? That doesn't exactly arouse any titillating feelings in anyone's genitals, you know what I'm saying? It's not getting anyone a little soaky, you know? It's not getting anyone a little soaky. You might want to try a line like, Hey, bed sex, wanteth? I'm here, home or hotel. I have the penis, large. Ha! <laughs> that might work. Work for me on that girlfriend I had once. And then she got hit by a UPS truck because she was a bitch. Here's a question. Why is it okay to be gay? I don't get the whole big deal of it. I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree. What do I not agree with? I don't know. I gotta be careful with what I say. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why is it okay to be gay? It's not okay by government for me to a pirate and hacker getting free stuff of the internet. Wait, I forgot to tell you. I've been hacking and pirating since age seven. I hacked out Bill Gates' phone card at age 10. This makes me born this way, smiley heads. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, checkmate, gays. <laughs> checkmate. Good, nice, you won't even be able to respond to that. Go. We've discovered a new way to become rapists. Isn't that great? If you make false promises, just so a woman will have sex with you, that is a form of rape. No, 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 no. That's called being an asshole. And usually that kind of thing, usually not all the time, is pretty detectable. But I think some people turn off that little detection device in their head because they really want to, you know, kind of get with the person and they figure, you know, listen, he's always all over other women, but I really think he's got a heart of gold here. Nope, he doesn't. Rape is forced sex in some way, shape or form. It is forced against the consent of the person or without the consent, with absence of consent, say they can't give consent of a person, sexually one person on another, okay? That's rape. Not me saying, hey, listen, baby, I will fucking totally buy you a lot of shit. And uh, if you get with me and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. And then I don't buy you a lot of shit. I'm a rapist. Take me to Rape Island, folks. Let's think of it this way. Let's think magically for a second. If you equate false promises and a woman having sex with you as being a form of rape, then I consider accepting promises in exchange for sex as a form of prostitution. <laughs> what now, prostitute? What now, prostitute? Mm, uh-oh, uh-oh. Both of those things are illegal. Both of those things. In the United States of America, we put people in jail for like 50 years for fucking weed. Rapists are out in like a day and a half. Prostitutes? Haha! <laughs> Nope, that's like closer to weed kind of, so you're going away. I will be out way before you, way before you. Hey everybody, if you're finding the waters are a bit troubling throughout the river of life, here's some advice for you. Now I learn a lot about to life. Lifing, that's a word, is to do what you wish, what your friends will make for your life. Don't say die, say I want to live. Six people! Six people were like, yeah, I read that and I'm good with that. Absol freaking lootly. What are you even talking about? And why are people agreeing with life and used to do what you wish, what your friends will make for your life. Don't say die, say I want to live. What are you trying to say what? Listen, you're gonna die because I I will it so hard. Because I don't I just don't get what you're saying. I wanna I wanna move on. I wanna move on. I wanna move on. Here's an awkward conversation for you. Another person trying to get it in, trying to get some dang Hi, I just wanted to ask if you are truly seeking casual sex and that this profile isn't a bot or something like that. It happens a lot on this site, I've discovered. I don't want to just assume and wanted to respectfully inquire first. Double smiley face when he's trying to get it in. Scott. The woman replies back with, for fuck's sake, you are my dad's age. Keep the fuck away from me. Okay, maybe the guy's way too freaking old and he's like poaching on some real prime, you know, 
Disney level shit. Maybe that's happening. Maybe that makes her uncomfortable. Maybe he should just like bow out and be like, okay, listen, listen, you didn't have to be that mean about it. This is how to professionally handle it. Listen, sorry, I like younger women. I'm sorry that offended you. I'm just gonna move on. Thank you for just being something that repulses me automatically. Let's go our separate ways and just live our lives. But no, he didn't say that. I'll see your silent treatment and raise you a fuck off. Get over yourself, you egotistical tiny titties bitch. Welcome to Blockedville. <laughs> Man, if she went with you, she would be in a trunk of a car, taped up, missing limbs. You are a freak. Blockedville? Blockedville? Really? You clearly are old enough to be her great-granddad, because no Blockedville? Blockedville. Blockedville? <laughs> and here's something I don't have a problem with, but I think you need to know a little something-something. Okay, so we have a picture here of a woman who thinks she looks good in this photo and she's taking a photo of herself and maybe she's sending it to somebody and maybe that person's just a private person. Maybe it's her boyfriend, maybe it's her husband, maybe it's something, who the hell knows? But she thinks she looks good and you know what? To a lot of guys, she does look good. She doesn't look bad, give me a freaking break, right? So I don't have a problem with this. I used to think this was ridiculous and I used to comment pretty flagrantly about why this was like slutty or whatever. It's not. It's it's not. And I was wrong to ever say, God, there's so much hair in here. I was wrong to ever say that. I was, I really was. And I think if you are a woman and you are willing to do these kinds of things for your man or for who the, who the hell ever, I don't care. Maybe you're just sending it to your friend. Maybe you're posting it online. Plenty of girls make a very good living posting themselves online like that. And it doesn't make them bad people, right? I totally understand that. If you're in the bathroom and you're hanging out and you think you look sexy and wanna snap some pictures, girl, do it. Do it, girl, do it, do it. Because screw it and a lot of guys are gonna be like, that's fucking shit, but you're enjoying it, shut up. So, you know, if you're in the bathroom, here we go. You're alone, look at her, taking a great pic. Oh my God, get your kids out of the, why are your kids in the bathroom while you're doing it? Oh my God, no, that, see? Oh, I wanted to believe, I wanted to believe, I did. Oh God damn it. <laughs> I bought this fan for like 600 bucks at Big Valley Get your kids out of the bathroom. And that's it for this episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet. Remember, if you find something ridiculous on the internet, screen cap and send it to me. Other than my Facebook fan page and my Twitter, which are both linked in the description below. Beat that, Eminem. Beat that shit. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, bitch. And be sure to check out the description below, honestly, for Matt's book. It's really cool. Let me read you a quick fact from this. Moose that are fed by humans become aggressive if the next human they encounter doesn't feed them, and they may end up attacking. Stop feeding mice. Mosquitoes don't just bite you, they also urinate on you. So do newts, but they don't bite you. Elvis Presley failed only one class when he was in high school, music class. Crazy, right? I failed math class and I'm a math genius. Just kidding. I'm not. But yeah, be sure to check out his book, link in the description below and available in all bookstores. Of course, Matt, you fucking owe me. The bill is in the mail, asshole. And of course, I will see you next Face Palm Friday with another episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet. If you want me to do another Rob's Rejects, you gotta send me some really good dating profile fuck ups, like, like some shit hits the fan, you know what I'm talking about? I'm really dying to do another one. Uh, I gotta check, I gotta really check. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram if you want. Follow my Instagram, it's also linked in the description below, and you can send me uh, submissions through there too, using hashtag Facepalm Friday, hashtag Whip Toddy if you want, whatever, I don't really care, do whatever you want. And that's it. Boom, that's all. That's it, that, I, I'm done. I'm taking my fan and I'm getting out of here. My $675 fan. Mmm, you like that? You like it? You like it? Yeah! Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Why, God, why do I drag these fucking things out? You thought I was gonna hit the ceiling, didn't you? Ow.